सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर गोइंग टू दि करोना भाईरस लेट्स हाव ए लुक इन टू दि जेनेल प्रपर्टीज अफ भाईरस बेसिंग ऑन द जेनेटिक मेटेरियल प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द भाईरस दि भाईरस आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स एन अदर इज डी एन ए भाईरस हुज जेनेटिक मेटेरियल इज टी एन ए सम आर आर एन ए भाईरस ओके इन दिस भाईरस फैमिली देर आर सेवेन नंबर्स अफ डी एन ए भाईरस एंड फिफ्टीन नंबर्स अफ आर एन ए भाईरस आर देर इन दि डी एन ए फैमिली इन डी एन ए फैमिली पक्स हर्पिस हेपाडोना पार्भो पापिलोमा पॉलीमिक्जो एंड आडेनोमा आई थिंक इट सेवेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन सेवेन वायरस ओके दिज वायर द जेनेटिक मेटेरियल ऑफ दिज वायरस है सर डी एन ए मेटेरियल द फास्ट थ्री वायरस पॉक्स वायरस हर्पिस वायरस एंड हेपाडोना वायरस आर जेनेरली नॉन एन वन ऑफ सेंड लेटर टू आर एनी नियर एंड डी एन वो जेनेरली डू इट एन वेल ऑफ एंड इन साइड द एन वेल ऑफ वी आर सेंडिंग द लेटर सो दिस वायरस हेज नो एनी कवरिंग अराउंड इट एंड द रेस्ट फोर आर दि एन वेल ऑफ वायरस ओके कमिंग टू द आर एन ए वायरस दर आर फिफ्टीन नंबर ऑफ वायरस सो आई हेव लिस्टेड इट एनदर इज फास्ट इट Toga virus, Flabby virus, Retro, Corona virus, Arena virus, Philo virus, Rhabdo virus, Ortho mixo, Para mixo, Picorna, Calsai. Hepatitis and the Rio virus. The 15 viruses are the RNA virus. Okay. Out of all these, the out of all these virus, which is gaining nowadays the public health importance, is the Flabby virus. Very important because it causes the Zika viruses, also known as Zika virus, which causes the microcephalic conditions in case of your babies. and it is also trans and in now in the day scientists have already told that this virus causes the trans placental infection so means it can transmit from the from mother to its offspring via the placenta another one is your philo virus it causes it is a ebola virus okay but our concern is your corona virus okay the the short form of corona virus is written as co4 corona v means virus cov it causes the corona virus it is it this virus generally causes the respiratory tract infections okay generally common cold first second a disease there which was very epidemic during 2003 sars severe acute respiratory syndrome another was a mers middle east respiratory syndrome so the corona virus causes the respiratory infections tract infections and the respiratory tract infection manifested in three forms and the common cold severe acute respiratory syndrome middle east respiratory syndrome as it is found in the middle east area where the camel population is huge it is also known as camel flu the common cold also known as common flu okay so the corona virus is causes this three types of infections nowadays the virus that has evolved from the wuhan provinces that virus 
also some some people are uh, naming it as Wuhan coronavirus also so the coronaviruses was discovered during the year 1892 okay very important so generally virus is a singular form virus is a singular form when many viruses are there in a family like in our family father mother sister brother cousins grandpa grandma all are there like in a family virus there are many viruses are there and when all the viruses the uh, present in a family it is known as viride okay so it is coming under corona viride family right let's coming to the general structure of your corona virus as we know virus is either let's i'm drawing the structure the genetic material is like this this is something like this around the genetic material there is a covering and outside the material there is a covering okay the genetic material particularly the corona virus is single stranded rna means rna is of single strand okay remember the genetic and it is its covering known as nucleo as a nucleus this is nucleo capsid out the out of the the total outer layer is a lipid bilayer and we find some projection like structures are there which causes antigenicity of the viruses peplomers are going to so this is made up of glycoproteins okay so this is a generalized structure of your corona virus inside the genetic material is there which is a single stranded rna of positive sense those people who are belong to the microbiology sections or the medico or the veterinary uh, fraternity they uh, do well understand this what is the positive sense virus what is the negative sense rna so it is a ss rna outside this there is a nucleoclapsid in the total covering it is a lipid bilayer and there are some projection like structures are there which causes the antigenicity of the virus is known as is the glycoprotein structure okay and very importantly it is a enveloped virus means it is present inside a uh, inside a box like structure so it is a enveloped virus single stranded positive sense okay please students please remember and another thing is there the genetic material which is of ss rna is a linear form okay the nucleoclapsid is generally the nucleo the nucleoclapsid which is around the is a helical structure okay like our dna which is a double helical structure and it is it is also known as icosahedral shape okay so dear students please do it remember some of the viruses as we have told it is a linear virus some of the viruses are there which circular in shape like bunia virus okay another is delta virus and another is arena virus bunia virus delta virus arena virus these three viruses are generally circular in shape it is a, it is linear in shape so our main concern is the corona virus as i have told you we are naming the corona virus as cov that is uh, the abbreviation of the corona virus so 
वी लाव से व्हाट इज द पैथोजेनिसिटी ऑफ द कोरोना वायरस द फर्स्ट वी विल सी द टाइमलाइन इन द क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ द हिस्ट्री और क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ द इवेंट्स वी हैव सीन द कोरोना वायरस कॉजेस डिफरेंट टाइम डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीज इन डिफरेंट मैनिफेस्टेशन इन द पास्ट इयर्स फर्स्ट I'm just renaming two 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 nine E first. Another O C forty three. Third S A R S coronavirus. Fourth H C O V N L sixty three. Another is H K U one. M E R S C O V 2019 N C O V okay this is the chronology of the uh, detection of the uh, many diseases with respect to the corona viruses okay and these are all actually related to the human corona very day okay this two groups of virus has been detected during the 1960 era the srs i will tell everything in the year 2003 hcov nl in 2004 in hku1 it is in 2005 mrs 2012 and this is now in 2019 Okay. This two two nine E and O C forty three group of viruses they causes common cold. Previously, I have told this corona viruses causes respiratory tract infections in the form of many symptoms in a single disease. That's a or that's a syndrome. So this causes respiratory tract infections in three different forms. That is common cold. Another is another is severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS, and the Middle East respiratory syndrome MERS. Remember, it is already I have discussed severe acute respiratory syndrome SCOV. H means human, COV means coronaviruses, N means novel virus. Dear students, the coronaviruses also known as novel viruses. Okay. So N is designated for this virus. It was in 2004. Okay, this causes bronchitis. Means inflammation of your bronchitis. It's known as bronchitis. Another HKU1. H means HKU means Hong Kong. This disease is found in Hong Kong. Hong Kong one virus. It is also known as. I have told. Middle East respiratory syndrome. Okay. This also called respiratory tract infections in the Middle East, also known as the camel flu, like bird flu, swine flu, cattle flu, horse flu. We have this camel flu, and the latest virus which has. Which was discovered in 25 days ago in the Wuhan provinces is the NCOV virus. Novel 2000. This name is like this. 2019 NCOV virus. 2019 novel corona viruses. Okay, it is in 2019. Or some people are also renaming uh, naming it the Wuhan. Wuhan corona viruses. Okay, so this is the chronology of the events that we witnessed during the past years. So now we will discuss what is the two thousand nine NCOV virus. This NCOV virus is one virus, and some. It is as 
this virus is supposed to be evolved from the sea market seafood markets which is prevalent in the uh, Wuhan provinces some are telling it also W S F M M sorry single M P B Wuhan seafood market pneumonia virus I am writing Wuhan seafood Wuhan seafood market pneumonia viruses okay so many scientists they are uh, believing that this virus is uh, is from the sea foods and some scientists they are telling that this viruses is evolved supposed to be evolved from the wild reservoirs like bats like your cat okay so there are many uh, hypotheses are now are there dear students please remember previously these viruses are there they are but they are not getting the uh, of epidemic significance during past so nowadays we are witnessing kasanur forest diseases viruses your uh, ebola viruses swine flu viruses it will what happens to your friend when you read the epidemiology in your medical sciences or in veterinary sciences you will find a disease triad a triangle is there as that in triangle there are three corners are there like in causing a disease there are three factors are there okay one is your environment another is your host and another is your causative organisms they maintain a balance always in the society the host is there the cosmic organism is there the environment there now why the organisms they are now getting more uh, virulent form first cause the your environment is now de degrading there is global warming so that the organisms they generally uh, changes its ex existing structure to a more virulent form if you deal if you go through the net or if you go some very good microbiology book then you will find two there is uh, two different terms are there antigenic shift and antigenic drift is there now when previously the viruses are confined to a particular geographical area now they are pandemic means they know they do not know any boundary so they are now getting so that the international importance when there is a imbalance between the three organisms three structures then the viruses get towards virulent form okay then the first case of the ncov viruses was detected on 31st of december 2019 okay the initial source was not known but later many scientists they are now telling that the virus is supposed to be evolved from the sea foods or maybe from any snakes or from some bats and and some the wild reservoirs because the snakes because the japanese people they uh, they generally do eat snakes the insects the uh, reptiles all these things they generally consume so it supposed to be from the and some scientists are now telling from the bat in bat it is it is it act as a reservoir host from bat to the it transmit to the cat from cat to the it is human so till now there is not a clear cut or no a solid evidences has been established so as human is get transmitted from the invertebrate host so it is a zoonotic disease Okay, but tubular host or invertebrate. So in overall, it is a zoonotic disease. Means the disease coming from the lower lower vertebrates to the higher vertebrates. So it is. A, so once a human is affected, it is a virus. So human to human transmission is more. Okay, when bat to cat, cat to human, this is little bit slow. But when human is affected, the same same species is affected. in rampant manner okay till now it is now till now uh, the who 
which is the apex organization in health circuit in health sector in the world is who it is already issued p h e i c okay around the world it is known as public health emergency of international concern okay public health emergency of international caucus now uh, till yesterday uh, 830 cases have been detected out of their 45 numbers of death or casualties has been found so overall it is a respiratory tract infection generally we uh, the patient will manifest the symptoms like sneezing coughing uh, restlessness there is sudden onset of fever uh, in medical sense it is also known as pyrexic like again uh, headache there is uh, drowsiness all these types of symptoms we will generally find so we should not be panic we always seek a medico for the treatment or for the consultation so the who issued some guideline in order to check the prevention of the disease so there is a very good saying in english in medical science also there is prevention is better than cure if we prevent the disease or we and if we take some of the preventive measures from the beginning then we can reduce the fatalities to a greater extent or to a greater height okay so what to do in order to not to spread this disease first washing of your hand okay it's very important cover your mouth avoid close contact okay seek medical attention medical care first avoid direct contact of animals seven um don't go for consumption of raw meat from the animals so the sixth advisory had been issued by who in order to reduce the fatalities or in order to reduce the case okay in government of india the government of india at its level it is taking the quarantine measures isolation measures checking at the many entry points like in airport ports all the things so it is also very important nowadays in order to reduce the disease to a greater height so it's our duty to be a responsible citizen so we should follow the guideline prescribed by the who so that our india from the grace of the growth should not experience this disease so hope i have covered everything from the corona virus infections the medical treatment and if so, and if you found and and, and if you find some cases uh, related to the uh, corona virus and if you suspect then immediately go to the medical and seek the medical care and attentions so hope this video will be helpful for you and my main intention is to create a awareness regarding corona virus infections among uh, among my fraternity the medical fraternity and the general public so hope you have enjoyed this video till the end if you have any doubts and queries please do your valuable suggestions and comments in my comment box so that i can improve my efficiency the existing uh, scientific knowledge and i can use them in the coming videos so hope you have enjoyed this video till the next video god bless you thank you have a good day